Is this the fix all to shooting Polaroid in cold weather? Well, let's find out. Let's do some tests. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. So if you've been shooting Polaroid specifically for any amount of time, you've probably wanted to take it out in the snow. Or maybe you've gone out and you shot your photos and you're wondering why it's coming out. Looking kind of weird. Different weird color shifts. Maybe a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of green. Well, that's due to the cold weather. Polaroid does not handle well to cold weather or hot weather. But I've already done a video on how to fix that or compensate for that. And I've actually done another video on this topic, but I found these uh, recently and it gave me an idea to test. I'm not sure exactly if it'll work, but in theory, it could help. These right here are rechargeable hand warmers. You get two of them for like just under $20. So it snowed recently and I decided to head out and shoot some test photos because that's all this video is, is just a test, a test of a theory. So let's go out and uh, shoot a couple things and see what happens. All right, let's test these hand warmers and see if it works. I'm just gonna take a couple shots for this test to be exact. I'm gonna take one, put it in the pocket that I have with the hand warmers and take the other photo, put it into the pocket that doesn't have any hand warmers and see if there's gonna be a difference. I guess I'll take a picture of my car <laughs> using the snow as my tripod. Hey, that worked. going in the pocket with the hand warmers. I'm trying not to get it directly on it. But we'll see what happens. All right, now let's take the next shot. What should I take? Is this the exact same photo or is it a different one? I guess it's like the same one. Whew. Okay, it's going in the other pocket now. No hand warmer on that one. I have to stay out here the whole time. <laughs> It's cold. Hmm, what can we talk about while I'm waiting for the photos to develop? Today I went to Comic-Con and met Jason Lee. <laughs> it sounds like he might be interested in being on my podcast. So we got that to look forward to. And possibly, just maybe, some more stuff in the future potentially. It was a little unclear, but he definitely wanted to make sure I got a hold of him. He was super excited. So I'm excited too, dude. He's been the number one get for this channel for like a collab. So let's hope that happens. I guess I could plug the Spitfire Club. I would love to have some fire right now. But if you don't know about the Spitfire Club, what are you waiting for? So you're checking it out. You can get monthly photos sent to your door signed. Uh, you, what else do you get? You get ad-free YouTube videos, extended videos of the podcast, and ex some, sometimes, extended videos of the main channel videos. Hmm, what else? Oh, I don't know. How about the Zoom calls? We meet every single month, face-to-face -face and chat pretty sweet you can get one of my original polaroid photos or instant photos as well monthly there's a lot of cool things consider checking out the link in the description i'm gonna go inside i think it's been long enough so uh it's been so cold that they're still developing and it's been like 10 minutes maybe uh but there is a noticeable difference this photo right here is the photo that was in the pocket without the heater or the hand warmers and this is the, the first one with the hand warmers. And it's developed significantly more than the first one. It does develop a little bit faster. So there is a noticeable difference. So I'm gonna let these finish developing in this temperature and see if there's any changes. But so far, the pocket warmers did help the development time just slightly. More tests need to be done, but so far, this is looking plausible as a nice way to develop your Polaroid photos. Not Instax, Instax just works. I already done those tests. <laughs> Plus you also just have hand warmers because it's cold. You warm up your hands. Ooh, that is really, really hot. My pockets are really nice and toasty. This would probably work better in an insulated like pouch or bag. Probably work really, really well. All right, so here are the photos. 
they're done developing. And by looking at them side by side, they look exactly the same. But that doesn't mean this test failed or that this didn't work. The photo that did have the hand warmers in the pocket developed faster than the one that was just in my pocket without the hand warmers. That's telling me so that it is doing something. And the reason that is, is when these are in the cold, they're gonna develop, oh my gosh, so, so incredibly slower than it would be if it were hot outside. Has an effect on that, on development time, as well as the overall color temperature. Now, what I'm noticing is maybe I didn't leave it in the pocket and let it fully develop long enough. That's the test I need to do next. Where I live, we don't get weather where it snows and it sticks around for a long period of time. Um, if it snows, you have to take advantage of it right away. Well, it's not even, it snow's gone. <laughs> Snow is already gone. Uh, and so I can't test this anymore. So I'm gonna have to wait until the next winter storm to roll through, which will probably be next year uh, and test this again now I do want to leave this up to you guys too because you maybe you're in an area where it's cold good chunk of the year so if you pick these up report back let me know if you guys have tested these out and found any other cool use cases to help development of Polaroid photos specifically the reason I chose these was for one particular use case and that is the fact that they are thin gave me a separate idea if I could build some type of box Frick. Or if I could build some type of box that these could slide in and develop without having the heat element touch the photo. Cause you don't want to do that. You want ambient air developing it. You put this on your photo, you get a hot spot and cause the photo to develop not good. <laughs> but these are thin enough to where I think I could build something, a fun little developer box for Polaroid film. That is a topic and experiment for another day, but these are my findings. It is not confirmed, but it's definitely plausible that these could work out pretty good. Now, an extra bonus if you do get these, it did come with a USB-C charger cable. Nothing fancy about that, right? However, it is a dual USB-C charger cable and that's actually quite handy outside of charging these because I've got a lot of things that use USB-C and that's nice to have the ability for one port two plugs and again these weren't that expensive at all it was right around 20 bucks ten dollars per hand warmer I'm, I'm thinking I just didn't let it develop in my pocket long enough but so far if you look at these side by side there is no difference in color temperatures it was just a development time which leads me to think that there is something to this it just needs a little bit further testing what do you think are you going to try this are you going to get these if you want to get some again link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one now get out there make some more